Hey guys, Ben from Men's Game Time. Welcome back to more Yu-Gi-Oh! Like it's still this last time, we dueled against M. Nalez, um, who was Professor Banner, and defeated him. Uh, the first attempt didn't go so well, but the second attempt went much better. Summoned Tempest, and everything was fine from there. This time we are going to be doing Rise of the Sacred Beasts. So, finally we're going to take on the head of the Shadow Riders, and who's the one that is actually after these Sacred Beast cards. So let's begin. The true leader of the Shadow Riders revealed himself as Ka Kagemaru, I think. Uh, I think that's how I say that. I don't know. I'm not great with I'm not great with words. If anything to take away from this let's play, it's that I am not great with words. Anyway, the superintendent and founder of Duel Academy, he challenged Jane to a duel, hoping to use his Sacred Beast cards to take over the world. I built this school, and now I've returned for my Sacred Beast cards. So yeah, he's like really old and all that. What? I am Kagemaru, Master of the Shadow Games. It was I who first sealed the cards here. It was I who gave Shepard the seven keys. But those keys are worthless. To unlock the spirit gates, all that's required is dueling energy. Energy that you expended trying to protect those keys. This is why I arranged for all the best duelists in the world to come here. I hoped year after year, class after class, a student would arise with enough dueling spirit to unlock the power of the cards. My Shadow Riders were sent to test you, and only one passed. One with the potential to finally unlock the Sacred Beasts and give me the strength to rule the world. My opponent will be Jaden Yuki. Excuse me, what? <clears throat> you have proven to be the only duelist with the power to unlock the Sacred Beast cards, and if you refuse, I will see to it that this island and everyone on it sinks to, to the depths of the ocean deep. You can't. I can do anything with these Sacred Beast cards. Let the Shadow Game begin. So yeah, he turns really young after using the Sacred Beast cards. He just has them in his possession. He has them in his deck. He's going to duel us with them. And now he's like super young now. So let's go with Scissors. I haven't done Scissors in a while. And yay. There we go. We're going to go second as usual. That's the best way to go. Because if you go first, you can't attack and you can't draw, so here we go. Finally dealing with the leader of the Shadow Riders. So here we go, let's get started. He's going to play something face down and a face down card. And another face down card, alright. And we got got a couple new cards in our hand. Uh, Flu Summoning Kribo again, huh? Alright, what do we got? We got Miracle Fusion. Uh, fusion Summon 1 Elemental Hero Fusion Monster from your extra deck. By banishing fusion material listed on the on it from your side of the field or your graveyard. Alright. And then discard one card, destroy all face-up monsters your opponent controls. Uh, I'm gonna just start by summoning Clayman in defense mode. And then that will be it for now, I would say. Um, do I want a special summon in? Or do I want to add it to hand? Hmm. Yeah, we'll just... now nah, we'll save that for if, like, he has two monsters or something. So, yeah, let's see. I definitely want to maybe try and summon this. So, we need Clayman, Bubbleman, Avion, and First the Natrix. So, okay, we just need to draw Bubbleman and Avion out, and then we can easily summon it with Miracle Fusion. So, there we go. Metal Reflect Slime. We've seen this before. This is going to be fun. And then we got Quantum Cat. Activate this card by declaring one monster type and attribute. Special summon this card as a monster with 2,200 defense with that. And also it's a trap still. Okay. Oh boy. This could be bad. He already has three monsters on his side. And like I said, he has the Sacred Beast cards. So he might summon one of them. Alright, Infinity Dark. He's summoning. Luckily for me, Clayman has more defense points. Okay, what's that do? Um, this... Okay, I got Mirror Force. That's going to be helpful. Um, let's play that face down. Um, do I want to activate this now? I might. Let's see. What's the, what did that effect just do? Well, this card is face up on the field. You can normal summon 
hit to be have treated with a monster effect. When this card declares an attack, you can change the battle position of one monster. Okay, it's probably doing that right now. Um, so yeah, he has the Sacred Beast cards in his deck, which are basically the god cards. So, and he has three monsters on the field. I am in no way, shape, or form going to be able to defeat these whatsoever. So maybe doing Lightning Vortex now would be the best path to go by. So we're going to discard one of the Miracle Fusions. We only need one of them, really. So, destroy everything. And then we're going to summon Burst the Natrix in attack mode. I'm going to keep Clayman in defense mode for now, though. I know it's going to be... Um, it would be more life point damage to him if I put him in attack mode, but... Still. And there we go. That's going to be turn... I don't want to activate the Flute of Summoning Kribos yet. I want to wait for something really bad to happen. Like, if he has something that would destroy all my monsters. Alright, good. He doesn't have any. Oh, we got Avion. So we have three out of the four materials. We might not even need to summon uh, anything fusion related. We'll see. No, I didn't want to activate. No. Leave me alone. That's the one thing, it's like, oh yeah, you can activate this card at any time, do you want to activate it now? It's like, that's the one thing that is a little annoying about it, but I understand why they did it, because, I mean, you can activate this card at any point in time, I could activate it right now if I wanted to, I'm not going to, because, I don't know, like, I feel like he might have something. Pot of Greed, alright, he has Pot of Greed. Uh, Messenger of Peace. Oh yeah, this card. Oh, and I got a polymerization. All right. We do miracle fusion now. Wait, do we have bubble man? Green card? No. Okay, I wanna. Okay, I can summon flame wingman, but the problem is messenger of peace, which is that card we used in Alexis's deck to defeat Titan a couple episodes ago. So I definitely wanna just. On, keep my monsters unfused for right now. So, let's see, and then this is going to do 1200 damage. And so I think, ne yeah, next turn will be it if he doesn't summon anything. And even if he does, I have Mirror Force. So I'm fine. We've got this dual one. He's going to have to pay 100 life points, and then... He's going to put two down on the field, which doesn't make any sense, because one is sufficient enough. Alright, you know what, I'm just going to activate it so it stops asking. I mean, we won already. So yeah, special summon Karibo to the field uh, in defense mode, even though we could just summon it in attack mode, but whatever. I just feel like getting it out of, getting that card out of my hand. And I'm not going to play Skyscraper because you don't have to. So there we go, Avion, attack directly. And then burst the Natrix, attack directly, and there we go. He didn't even get to summon a Sacred Beast card. This was a pretty easy duel. Woo. Impossible. The Sacred Beast cards cannot be defeated. Again, you, you know, your whole, like, cards that can't be defeated thing, I mean, so many people say that, but you don't even get to summon them, so, yeah, they can be defeated if you don't play them. So there you go. What the? Are you okay? It's true. I'm an old man, wanting simply what every, every oh, yeah. wanting simply what every old man wants to be young again, and harnessing the power of those sacred beasts was the only way I found to do it. Yeah, and to take over the world. Can you forgive a decrepit old soul? Yeah, I guess. But don't you see, old timer, stealing power from something or someone isn't any way to feel alive again. You gotta find the strength in yourself. So there we go. Shadow Riders have been defeated. And everything is fine. And so, next time, we're gonna be doing Magna Chum La Day. And we're gonna actually be dueling as Dr. Crowler, it seems, against Chumley. So, this is gonna be an interesting duel. And I'll see you guys then.